Now, as for the 1MDB scandal, uh, she was featured heavily in your book, especially when it came to spending these ill-gotten gains. So we have her either holidaying with central figures like Joe Lowe or partying with celebrities. But do you think she had any clue on the level of kleptocracy? Oh, of course she did. Yes, she was central <laughs> to the whole thing. I mean, she was she was a powerful force in in the marriage with Najib. Everyone's seen the "Can I advise you something?" Uh, audio that the MACC put out. So she's obviously very powerful in that relationship. Look, she knew Joe Lowe back from the late '90s when he was studying in Harrow. They had a house in a very posh London area called Kensington Green, and, and Joe Lowe's family also had a house there. So Joe Lowe got to know her and her stepson Reza Aziz, and he became very very useful for her. He became useful for, for Najib, obviously, funds for political corruption and all of that through 1MDB, but he also became very useful for Rosma. He gave her diamonds. It's the most important diamond is the 27 million pink diamond from Lorraine Schwartz, which Rosma has claimed she didn't receive. But Lorraine Schwartz herself, the New York jeweler, said that she prepared for Rosma on behalf of Jolo. And that diamond was paid for via a company called BlackRock, which was meant to look like the real U.S. investment fund. But it so wasn't. Could, but it wasn't. And then Jolo told his friends it was named for Black for Rosma's heart, and rock for the jewels. <laughs> so, you know, that's the kind of level of information we have in Billion Dollar Whale and that the prosecutors had, but nobody's decided to push that because they've gone for this much easier solar panel corruption case.